Cantu did this. So if you are interested in using Cantu or if you're just interested in seeing how I got my hair to look like this, let's get into this video. But before we do, in case you're new here, let me give you a quick intro. I'm Rocky. I make videos about natural hair, healthy skin, and just overall health and wellness. So if any of those topics do interest you, make sure you tap that subscribe button and show it some love. And also tap that bell so you can be notified every time I upload so you don't miss out on any of my videos. If you have been following me, you already know I am on a hair diet. I decided I wanted to do some product reviews on on silicone free products and to my surprise Cantu is a silicone free product I have used Cantu before on my channel haven't been a big fan of it I was really skeptical going into this I know there are some naturals that live by it I'm not one I want to start from the bottom up so I wanted to start at a lower price point and work my way up to higher price points when it comes to these silicone free product reviews today we're gonna to be using this can too this is the coconut curl cream so let's hop into this video so you can see exactly how everything went down I am going to be using the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Coconut Curling Cream. This defines, moisturizes, and strengthens strands. This has no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, or mineral oils. It defines, conditions, and adds manageability, revealing soft, elegant curls. Made with pure shea butter and formulated without harsh ingredients. Cantu restores the real, authentic beauty. Embrace your curly, coily, or wavy hair with Cantu. And the directions say to smooth onto damp hair section by section. Begin at the root and work towards the end. Do not rinse. Can be used on dry hair to re-moisturize curls. And then the styling tip is to cocktail with Cantu Moisturizing Twist and Lock Gel for super soft, long-lasting twist or braids. So I am going to be using this coconut curling cream to do this braid out. I actually applied the coconut curling cream to my hair in the shower. So I applied it to soaking wet hair. Then I slept with my twists in. And this is a tip for my low porosity girls. If you have the time, allow your product to kind of seep into your hair and be a little more absorbent by letting it sit on your hair for a few hours before you actually style. Now, not all of us have that type of time though. So I understand if you go right from washing to styling. If you are braiding your hair and your hair is in layers like mine because I do like volume, so my hair is a bit layered, you wanna part your hair going vertically not horizontally that way your layers won't affect one section of your hair being shorter you can see by the way my ends are like poofy and not really coiling that this product is not super absorbent it's not super moisturizing it's not locking into my hair and allowing my curls to clump it's like it's sitting on the outside of my hair and that's why my ends are super poofy you can see the product on my hair as time goes on i do feel like it will absorb and dry into my hair so i am going to actually sit under my hooded dryer for a little bit just to open my cuticles and allow a little more absorption of this product into my hair naturally
Okay, so as you've seen, I did have to work some magic to make this braid out work. <sighs> I, I was scared as I was unraveling my hair. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to make this style come out cute, but get you a wide tooth comb, a pick, and girl, you got a style. Like natural hair is just that bomb. You can make a fell into a success like that. Volume, definition, boom. My ends aren't as defined as I personally like, but overall I do think this style came out okay. Um, this is the Cantu Coconut Curling Cream. Would I purchase it again? I don't think I would. I don't think it's the most moisturizing and I don't think it's the most effective product for my hair. I have chronically dry hair and my hair has a hard time absorbing products. This just didn't do it for me. You can see how my ends looked before I unraveled, how they were really frizzy and dry. It didn't give me moisture. It didn't give me hold. As you've seen when I was applying it to my hair, it really sat on the outside of my hair. I had to use my hooded dryer just to kind of get the product to even penetrate my hair. Now, this is a cream and I typically stay away from creams they just tend to be too heavy for me also I have fine strands so it's not just that I'm low porosity it's also that my strands are fine that combination makes it really hard for products to just really work for my hair I give it a C I give it a C plus almost a B so 79% 79.9% is what I would give this cream as you know I have not been using oils I actually decided I wanted to use greases. I wanted to start incorporating greases in my hair. So the grease that I used to seal this in was the TBC Hair and Scalp Conditioner and this is with olive oil and vitamin E. I just used this on my ends and still my ends were dry and a hot mess. I don't know if I would recommend that grease either and I don't know that I'm going to use it again because it was very greasy without being a really good sealant. So. I don't know if I'd use either one of these products again. That is my review on this first Cantu product. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you learned something new. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to me because I'd love to have you. But until next time, see ya!